If Bill Street Could Talk is an adaptation of the same name James Baldwin novel, and it's about a, a young couple, Tish and Fonny, um, who are engaged, and when Fonny is falsely accused of a crime he did not commit, Tish must race against the clock to bring both the baby to term and her lover back to freedom. That That's sounded like the IMDB description. <laughs> <laughs> that, was that, was that was really good. That was really good right there, right? <laughs> of a promise uh, I made to myself because I wrote uh, this script at the same time that I wrote the script for Moonlight. I took a trip to Europe in the summer of 2013. I wrote Moonlight and I wrote, uh, adapted of Beale Street Could Talk. Didn't have the rights to it, uh, to the book at all at that point. Um, but once Moonlight happened, um, even before the awards and all that stuff, I just knew that I wanted to sort of like close the circle um, and complete the journey um, of that writing expedition, you know, to make both these films. Um, and it was nice because there was so much opportunity um, after Moonlight, it was really great to have a contract with myself that I had to honor. And when I saw Barry Jenkins and James Baldwin, I knew it had to be something special. Um, but then reading the script and then following that up with reading the novel itself, I, I, it just became even more clear how, how special it would be. Um, and so the first time that I met Barry was actually at my chemistry reading. It's the first time I met uh, Steph as well. Um, and just being in that room with the both of them, I knew, like, I get this thing. <laughs> it's just going to blow me away. I think Barry, you know, hearing his vision, we got to sit down, uh, have lunch, um, you know, long, long, long before you know, we started filming and mm -hmm. um, it was just incredible to just hear his take and his idea and, and it really struck me, he struck me as the perfect person to, to tell a story like this um, and it's just a phenomenal, you know, novel obviously and for me I, I just couldn't be more excited to embody uh, the role of Fani. Baldwin is very, he writes the interior lives of characters really well. They had both read the novel, and we had tried to preserve a lot of that interiority in the script as well. So I feel like it wasn't um, a secret, you know, the reasons for the feelings. Um, mm -hmm. It was not a secret that was kept yeah. from the actors, and so I felt like that allowed them to really just live in it. Uh, all three of the films have premiered at different festivals. You know, Medicine for Melancholy premiered at South by Southwest, mm -hmm. even though it screened at, at, uh, at Toronto. And I remember uh, Tom Luddy saying, oh, I wish you had submitted, Tom Luddy runs the Telluride Film Festival, I wish you had yeah. submitted Medicine for Melancholy here. I was like, no, South by Southwest <laughs> was the place to premiere Medicine for Melancholy. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So um, uh, I think of it, uh, they're all these different homes, you know, and sometimes mm -hmm. one fits here and one fits there. So. But we also just wanted uh, we wanted Stefan to, to, to prepare this the is, movie. This is mainly for me. So. You wanted to raise in Toronto. So. I, I appreciate you, Barry. <laughs> All of you, bro. All of you. Bro. Thank you. Good decision. Yeah.